Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your buddy Preston back with some more cards today. I want to show you some good deals I found at Hooterville Sports Cards in Fairfield, Ohio. Love the guys over there. Stopped in to buy some triple threads and uh, check out that video. So it was a pretty good box. And uh, just I can't help myself from going through the bargain bins. Uh, so they had uh, the vast majority of everything you'll see in this video cost me 20 cents. 20 cents a pop. I got like 260 cards out of the bargain bin. Um, everything heading right into the old personal collection. Some of my favorite players. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Keep you updated on uh, the auction that's coming up and all the other fun stuff doing. Uh, just for future reference, got this big box of football cards. I have no idea what's in there. It's going to be fun. And then uh, a little bit of mail. I'll show you the other side. Um, a mail time video from RSR Auctions. Uh, shout out to those guys as well. So Hootersville Sports in Fairfield, if you're ever in Southern Ohio, just outside of Cincinnati, make sure you check out Hooterville. A lot of great stuff. It's got piles and piles of stuff that's hard to find. I uh, can't say enough about them. It's great. So the we'll start off with a little football, and then most of it's going to be baseball. My number one football PC guy is Dan Marino. Love me some Dan Marino. And I found – we I won't – spend too much time on these because there's a huge pile but um monday night classic card from 95 found a bunch of stuff with him on it that i'd never seen before an old checklist um my damn marino collection is getting pretty absurd now hundreds of cards now i think i'll have to count them up did you know upper deck 1995 star quest i like the old star quest cards got some star quest uh, baseball cards as well. You've probably seen them on the channel. Hey, speaking of the channel, go check those holiday box videos. They're very popular. People are liking them, and we hit for a huge Acuna. A uh, super short print in one of them. You'll definitely want to check them out. So a whole bunch of Dan Marino. Super excited. All these were 20 cents. Every Dan Marino card you'll see. I like that. Looks like a watercolor painting a little checklist from oh, my eyes ain't what they used to be 93 is there any good players on there brian cox was a good player mark clayton keith jackson so a ton of damn marino we won't spend too much time because i got some really good stuff here i got to go to work later oh you want to hear a sob story it's spent several thousand dollars on my car my mom's car my daughter's car recently it's been a nightmare and then uh my daughter wakes me up this morning and she had to go to work and the, her damn car wouldn't start that's a 1989 it's in pretty good shape so she took my car to her work and now i'm going to be late to my work and i figured well hell while i'm sitting here waiting for her, let's go ahead and show off some cards so i can get these put in the boxes Dan Marino, just an incredible player. When I was a young man, I can't remember who he was playing. I was maybe, I mean, we were talking 30-something years ago, I was maybe eight, nine years old. You know, uh, late 80s, I was born in 90, uh, 79. And I saw him on TV. And back then, you couldn't see every football game. You know, you had to watch what was on. And I caught him somewhere putting like 400 yards and three touchdowns on someone. I was like, this dude is good, old Domino's Pizza. I like the one-off cards. I really do. I like the, the little weird non-card cards, especially for 20 cents. Um, but, yeah, I saw Dan Marino just kill. Now, I'm in Cincinnati, and I'll root for the Bengals, and they're absolute trash. Mike Brown is the worst owner in the history of sports. You've probably heard me say that several times uh, if you've watched any of my older videos. Um but I do root for them. Let's put the Domino's cards together. Um, uh, despite the sad, sad state that they've been in over the last 30 years. So, um, but back when I was a kid, they were, they were good there. And they were in the Super Bowl in the 88 Super Bowl, January of 1989. I was like 10 years old, nine years old, about to turn 10 years old. 
But anyway, I fell in love with Dan Marino. I love the gallery card. That's a very nice card. Now, some of these aren't in perfect shape. I mean, you wouldn't expect that everything coming out of the five for a dollar bin is going to be perfect. But these will go right into the personal collection. I'll take them out from time to time and enjoy them. Love Upper Deck. Wish they uh, still did more stuff. Almost to the end of the Dan Marinos here. I didn't want to spend too much time because the pile was pretty big. So I root for the Dolphins. I root for the Bengals. And they're both awful. They've been awful for 30 years. When I was a kid, Cincinnati, the Bengals were in the Super Bowl in 89. We would hear stories about the uh, 81 Super Bowl. So they were pretty good. So 89, the 88 season, 1989, the Bengals are in the Super Bowl. And then in 1990, the Reds go wire to wire, upset the Oakland Athletics in a sweep in the World Series. My favorite sports memory of all time. I was 10 years old. And I thought, damn, I live in the greatest sports city in the world. Super Bowls, World Series, Dan Marino and Steve Young together. I like that. Old metal cards, I like those. What year is that? 2000 Fleer Metal. So I thought I lived in the best sports city in the world, and then uh, the last 30 years have just been hot garbage from both the Reds and the Bengals. Two more last of our Dan Marinos. We got a little more football, just a small stack, and then we'll get into the baseball, and I got some really good stuff uh, coming here in a little bit. Let me set these off to the side. Oh. Brett Favre, I personally personally collect. Easy for me to say. So we grabbed a handful of Favre cards out of the bargain bin. I love just going to places and sifting through the cheap stuff. We go to the National, me and my buddy Luke, if you watch the channel, you'll be familiar with Luke probably. We go up to the National and I first just hit up the $1 bin and I pulled some sweet cards <laughs> from the early 80s, late 70s. And uh, he's like, what are you doing? We're surrounded by all this great stuff and the, you just start digging through the bargain bins. And you can get some great deals in the bargain bins, man. In a Vikings uniform. So we buffed up our Brett Favre collection a little bit. I saw this in there, and then I thought, well, I don't think I have any John Madden cards. And what kind of football collection don't have a John Madden card in it? This is like a second-year Drew Brees in his – that needs to come up a little bit, I think. In his Chargers uniform. couple. So that's 2004. Well, that's a 2002 right there, is that – and see, it's, it's got his one-year stats on there, but doesn't have a rookie symbol on it or anything. I'll have to do some uh, digging and see if they put if they were putting out the rookies that year or the following year. Barry Sanders. I like that card. There's a whole bunch of Barry Sanders. A lot of it I already had. So we only picked up a couple of those. Barry Sanders and John Elway. Wearing their Pro Bowl jerseys, it looks like. All kinds of good players on that checklist. Steve Young, Aikman, Marino, Emmett Smith, Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, Marshall. All, all kinds of guys. Another Barry Sanders. Man, I love the old upper decks. I really do. Barry Sanders. I remember that. I had that card, I think, at one point when I was a kid. Probably ended up in the spokes of my bicycle. Emmett Smith, rookie superstar. And remember, everything you're seeing so far, 20 cent card. So, not bad. That's a Julio Jones rookie. Been one of the best receivers in the league now for a while. Really good shape, too. Corners are perfect. Deion Sanders rookie card. I have I have a bunch of Deion Sanders rookies, but I didn't have this one with the number one pick green triangle on the bottom there. So got that one. 
that's just a sweet Tony Dorsett card. I don't go after Tony Dorsett specifically, but saw this Thanksgiving card and thought that would be a nice card to add to the collection. Super shiny, kind of textured. Sorry, the chandelier doesn't help with the when I got the top loaders on. I found an old Carl Lewis. I love the Olympics. Um, I get excited for them every four years. Uh, the wrestling and the, the track and field and all the fun stuff. So added a random Carl Lewis card to the old personal collection. Carl Malone and John Stockton, two of my favorite players to watch when I was growing up. Would have got a uh, championship or two if it weren't for Michael Jordan. Outstanding players. I found this Japanese card, number one pick rookie card of David Robinson. And it's got uh, the Japanese right. I guess that's his name in parentheses. It says David Robinson. I thought that was a pretty sweet card. I don't do a lot of basketball, but there was some pretty, the Admiral and then the Japanese writing for it. There are some pretty basketball cards in the bucket there. So I fatten up the old basketball collection a little bit with guys from my childhood. The Naval Academy, that's a sweet card. Another David Robinson rookie. So 40 cents got me two Dave Robinson rookies. That doesn't seem like a bad deal. Shaquille O'Neal, there's certain guys, you've heard me say on the channel before, probably certain guys I'm really uh, feel lucky that I got to see play their career. And Shaquille O'Neal is one of them. Go back and watch his highlights from you know, his college days when he was younger. You know, a 20, 22, 23-year-old Shaq was incredible. To be that large, that strong, that Fast and agile. Unbelievable. Look at that. New kids on the court. Kenny Anderson. Uh, Kenny Johnson. Uh, I don't know. Augman. And then uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal. Rookie card. And then we found a handful. Just a few Jordan cards. Because why wouldn't you pick up a, some cheap Jordan cards? I like that one. Like a painting. Slam it down, reverse style. I don't have a lot of Michael Jordan baseball cards. I never uh, never really focused on getting any. So I saw that in there and said, well, hell, why not? Slam and jam. A couple of Michael Jordans on the front of that one. And all it says on the back is just do it. So I have no idea what this is, where it came from. And then a uh, decade of dominance. And playing with some disabled athletes, very charitable in the time he spent doing stuff like that around Chicago. There's good and there's bad with Michael Jordan, and there's some of the good. Giving back to the community. And then I saw this, look at that, it's Harry Carey and Michael Jordan. I think that's Harry Carey, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. I think so. Maybe not. Does it say on here? Either way, I like it. The gold upper deck stamp. Very good. So some random basketball cards at the end of our football pile. The rest of the way, it's going to be all baseball. And uh, everything you'll see come from the 20 cent bucket. So, um Aside from stuff, some of the stuff I'll show at the end, the number cards and uh, the uh, the big time rookies I'll show you at the end. They were a few bucks each, um, but most of these. Just moving these cards around real quick. Give me a second. There's hundreds of cards piled up. So I will buy for twenty cents anyway. Ten twenty cents. I'll buy just about any hologram card I find. And I doubt you'll be able to see the hologramminess of it. No, it's not moving around. But uh, I'll buy just about any hologram card for 20 cents. I got a little hologram collection. Reminds me of my childhood. That was Jim Palmer. Who do we got here? Don Mattingly. There you go. Donnie Baseball. Swing in the bat for you. All right. No, that way up and down. Up and down does is that Tim Raines? That's cool, man. I like the old hologram cards. 
That's Buddy Bell, I believe. Yes, sir. And uh, who do we got here? Jack Morris. And that's Carlton Fisk. Right? Absolutely. Cool. I like it. And uh, a random sticker. Probably wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have Cincinnati on it. I got a little collection of stickers, too, around here somewhere. All right. We got some randoms, and as we go along, we'll work into uh, some of the more superstar players. Um, we'll start off with a Hall of Famer. How about an Edgar Martinez rookie card? I don't want to say 20 cents a thousand times in this video, but, man, I'm telling you. I feel like I got some good deals for 20 cents. Randy Myers uh, might not mean a whole lot to anybody else, but uh, he was outstanding. Part of the Nasty Boys here in Cincinnati. Uh, really liked watching him pitch. How about a Manny Ramirez in some kind of minor league? The Youth Service League? I can't read it. Oh, classic card from 91. George Washington College. A young, thin Manny Ramirez. How about a 1985 Carlton Fisk? It's not in perfect condition. Uh, that corner's chewed up. That one's not perfect, obviously, but I'll enjoy the card anyway. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Carlton Fisk. We had a few of them. I think I don't know these leaf. I they, you'll see a handful of these leaf heroes of baseball there from 2015. A few different players we got on that. Bunt 16 from Tops. Vladimir Guerrero is the chat working? I guess you can't tell me if it's not. It says, unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Am I having internet troubles? Is the feed bad? I'm sorry, guys. You, I've, I've never only seen that once or twice in all the videos. Love me some Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero. His son's obviously uh, very popular right now. Has a very nice card, Bowman Chrome. Premier Performers, SP Authentic. Some Pete Rose. What year is that from? This, he got 83, 84, 85 cards pictured on the front. So what is this, 86? Oh, too small, can't read it. Let's see. Nineteen eighty eight, And then uh, some more rows for you, the 67, 68, 69, and 70 cards. I I hope he makes it into the Hall of Fame before he gets too old or is even gone so he can enjoy it. I think he deserves it. I mean, I do definitely did some dirty stuff, but if they're going to start letting steroid guys in, I, I'd like to see Rose get in. I'm a little biased. I'm in Cincinnati, obviously, so. Pedro Martinez. How about an 85 Carew Don Russ? That's in really good shape. It's pushed off to the left in terms of centering, uh, but the corner is pretty good. An 85 Carew. Pedro Martinez. Oh, we just had a random Carew in, in a stack of Pedros. Loved watching Pedro pitch. One of the most dominant couple seasons in the history of baseball. He was so ridiculously good. I'll pick up any Babe Ruth card for 20 cents. There's no doubt about that. Who doesn't want a Babe Ruth card? Bob Gibson, Heroes of Baseball. He was so good they had to change the rules. <laughs> I like the one-off cards. The Kmart 25th anniversary from 1987. More Heroes of Baseball. A couple Lou Brock cards. The Cooperstown Collection. I like that. That's a good-looking card. From Hillshire Farms and Cons. Hot Dogs. Either way, I like it. That's a good card. 
more Kmart. It's Reggie Jackson. Mr. October. I don't know who's the real Mr. October. Is it Reggie Jackson or Johnny Bench? Go look at uh, Johnny Bench's stats in October. Pretty impressive. Eclipse his mantle with a home run record. I like the 86 Don Russ with the gold borders. The highlights. Um, that would have been the year you'd recognize them. That's from Leaf. Uh, you probably might recognize the blue bordered ones more. Home run champion Hank Aaron. From 1985, TCMA Limited. No idea. Never heard of them. Some Hank Aaron for you. How about a Harmon Killebrew? That one's from uh, 1985. Hell of a player. Obviously a Hall of Famer. I was really surprised this card was in there. I don't know if it's supposed to be in there or not. It was from 1981, Fleer. Ozzie Smith in a San Diego Padres uniform. I mean, it's not, you would expect, if it's in the 20 cent bin, you would expect it to be beat up or creased. But really, you know what I mean, for a you know, 30 year old card or whatever, 40 year old, 40 year old card, in pretty good shape. Frank Thomas, definitely PC. I don't really PC Ozzy Smith, just uh, the good ones and the old ones. But love me some Frank Thomas. Frank Robinson, a couple of Franks for you. Lightning Mookie Betts, he's a hell of a player. And then this card, I love this card. Glove Stories, and you'll recognize old Willie Mays making that over-the-shoulder catch he's so famous for. From Gypsy Queen. 2012, and then uh, these were, I don't even know where I got, where, uh, because I got some of these, this is the only one of these you'll see in this pile here, I got some more of these somewhere, um, and I don't even know how I came across them, that's a picture of Bo, or not Bo, there's another one of Bo Jackson, that's Deion Sanders, and they're from the Baseball Inquirer, 1992. And on the back, they'll have s snippets of um, questions and answers from interviews that they published in the um, in the Baseball Inquirer. So kind of neat. It's got a spot for his autograph. You ever meet him? Get him signed. So those are kind of funny. I don't know if I've ever showed mine on. I don't think I've ever shown the ones I have on, on the channel. National Baseball Card Day from 2006. Fat Albert Pujols. Cards in really good shape. Perfect condition, really. Eric Davis. There are a few guys in the history of baseball that have had as much pure athletic talent as Eric Davis and if it weren't for some really freak injuries uh, lacerated kidney cancer I mean this guy battled some awful stuff uh, he would have gone down as one of the best players in the history of the game he would have been a 30-30 guy for a long time I think he's the only guy to go 40 no 50 50 or something over the course of 162 games um, they weren't in the same season, but yeah, he went 50-50 over 162 games. An incredible, incredible player. The 87 Don Russ with the border, I like a lot. A quick look at the back. Inter instrumental part of our uh, success in 1990, Eric Davis. Love that dude. Rod Carew, the Kmart card, 87. Love my boy Ichiro. I'll buy any Ichiro card you can find for 20 cents. There's no doubt about it. It's an incredible player. National Baseball Card Day 2006 from Upper Deck. I like that card a lot. A random Robin Yount. You'll see the rounded corners. We'll have a few of these. And all they say on the back is photos by Rob Broder. And I haven't given him a Google yet. So 
Um, there would have been 50 in this set. Robin Yount's one of them. You'll see a few more players as we go along with the rounded corners. 3,000 career hits for Robin Yount from post. Yount was a hell of a player. Maybe undervalued in terms of you know how people talk about the great short stops. Kirby Puckett. Love me some Kirby Puckett. No longer with us on floor. We lost him and Tony Gwynn a few years back. The 87. Everybody loves the 87 design, right? Man of the Year, 1992. I'm sorry about the chat. Um, usually guys are chatting me up and stuff, and I'm assuming it's it says unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. I have no idea. Hopefully the stream's all right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Randy Johnson's rated rookie again, 20 cents. Yeah, 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 it's not perfect. You know, the corners aren't 100%. But um, uh, maybe I should have done this video without the top loaders. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see, before we get into that pile, let me move this pile over here. All right. Randy Johnson. You'll see a handful of Randys. Ring of Honor, 2001 Diamondbacks. 1990. It would have been a second year card from Classic. I like these cards. The Big Show with Keith Olbermann and Dan Patrick. Upper Deck Collector's Choice. What year are these? Man, that is small. Night. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to read it. Ninety-seven. So you'll see a handful of those cards, different players. They'll be from ninety-seven. Performer strike. I was in basic training in ninety-seven. That was an awful summer for me. <laughs> oh, it was hot in Missouri. Diamond tributes. Clear tradition. Don Russ, 2005. That's a 1990 Fleer. Again, a second card in perfect condition, this card. You'll remember the old 90 Fleers. Plenty of them around. The Heroes of Baseball from Leaf. And then we got some Roger Clemens. Uh, definitely PC Clemens. Uh, I know about the steroids and stuff, but uh, you look at his career before he even got to Toronto and those things started. I mean, it was he was impressive. One of my favorite childhood athletes, Roger Clemens. 29 of 50, another one by Rob Broder. We got to say preview edition from Upper Deck. This is a preview card. Yeah, I probably should have done this without the top loaders. It's a little too shiny. I apologize. Lesson learned on that one. I like that card, a preview card. Score select, your strikeout leader in 1992. Fleer Baseball, one of those one-off sets. I like 1989. I like, there's a few of these cards out there from different, we have classic here. I, there's some upper decks I remember that have um, the multiple captures, you know, in the pitching motion. Those are cool looking cards. More of are these, uh, let's see, oh, there's a bunch of these. We got four of the highlights from 86, and they're all different. Pitcher of the month of June, Starts season 14 and 0. Oh, Jesus. That was a hell of a start, isn't it? Strikeout card. And April. So we use player of the month in June and April. Love those gold border. There are going to be a few more Clemens cards. Tops 2000. Tops Chrome. 90s impact players. He sure was. Another upper deck from 93. Fleer league, league leaders with the red border. I remember seeing these around. A little uh, chewed up in that corner. 
I like that card. Fleer 91. The glowing, fiery baseball. And we thought we found a bunch of these Ted Williams. It's not like, you, you know, it's not really economically feasible for most of us to go out and buy a bunch of Ted Williams cards. So, unfortunately, regulated to the tribute cards on him. So, I'll, I'll buy just about any one I see for 20 cents. Why not? 50s player of the decade, his second triple crown in 47, his 1939 rookie year, a San Diego uniform, 46 and 49 MVP, and then in 1966 getting inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame, and in 1941 he at 406, ridiculous. Teddy ball game, Ted Williams. That's an upper deck card, right? Yes, sir. 1991. Ted Williams, the splendid splinter. And we picked up some Bo Jacksons. I remember the old Master Blaster cards from Score 91. I love those cards. I know I got an Eric Davis one. I got the, uh, there's a Kevin Mitchell one. Now, I hadn't seen a lot of these. These was this, this the traded or the update or something. All-Star game. This is from 90 Leaf. The Leaf cards with the blue borders. I don't, I mean, I bought a lot of cards back then. I had a job. I was what, 11 years old. I got my first job. I was nine throwing uh, newspapers. I was a newspaper boy. And then, uh, and then in 90, I got my first job washing dishes. I was 11 years old. It was $4.25 an hour. And uh, I had money. And I bought a ton of these Don Russ 90s. But I guess for some reason, I never ended up with the Leafs one because this is the only blue bordered one that I own now. But I was happy to find that one. That's a cool looking card. Obviously, Bo Jackson, one of the greatest athletes that's ever lived. The 90 Bowman. The postcard, 90 Fleer. I mean, that might be the reason why Cincinnati's been such trash for 30 years. It's the curse of Bo Jackson. We hurt Bo Jackson, one of the greatest athletes ever. That's an 89, yeah, 89 Fleer. And we hurt him, and now we're paying the price. The cur Bo Jackson, if you're watching, please forgive us. Lift the curse. It's been so horrible for 30 years. We paid the price. Don Russ, 1989. And that's our last Bo Jackson card. Love me some Bo Jackson. Love me some George Brett. And I love me some OPG. Lots of love in this section of the video. Premier 92. George Brett, absolute beast. Obviously, Hall of Famer. Stadium Club. And another Brett, the career salute, 21 years. Mike Piazza, rated rookie. Oh, I need to get that into a rookie top loader. Damn, I don't even think I noticed that when I bought it. <laughs> I, was just, I was peeling through hundreds of cards. I was moving pretty quick. All right, how about a Piazza rated rookie for 20 cents? Not bad, huh? We'll set that aside. We'll get that in a rookie top loader. Mike Piazza, one more time. Rookie star. The 94 collection. See, and this is a 92. So this one doesn't go into, into a rookie top loader. I don't think that's technically a rookie. Second year card at best, yeah. Third year card, really. I don't even know why it says rookie on it. Upper Deck Century Legends. That's a really pretty card. And how about a Black Diamond from Upper Deck? Love the Black Diamond cards. Just about every Black Diamond set they put out. It's beautiful. More Piazza Rookie of the Year card. I love the ovations. If you were to run your finger across that you would feel the stitches of the ball 
raised up on the card. Got a handful of ovation cards in here. What time is it? All right. Mike Piazza, one more time. Heroes of Baseball. And my second greatest catcher of all time, Ivan Rodriguez. That is a really pretty card. This is a pure grit. Upper deck. From the year 2000. More Ivan Rodriguez. And then he had this in there. It's an old bazooka bubblegum comic. Ivan Rodriguez, best defensive catcher. He's running. He throws them out. Just another dead duck. Pudge one stick. Pardon me. Pudge won 10 straight gold gloves, tying him with Johnny Bench for the most of a catcher. There's nothing on the back. I don't know what that little circle is, but an old bazooka comic. thought that was funny. Another one of those rounded edge cards. Love me some Tom Seaver. Obviously one of the best that's ever done it from Rob Broder. I'll have to give him a Google later. Should have done it before the video. My apologies. And some more Tom Seaver, the Ralston Purina Company, first annual collector's edition. How about that? What year? 84, maybe? Yeah, 1984. And a random Tom Seaver, newer Don Russ. All right, let's get this stack out of the way. A few more stacks for you. Oh, man, these last couple of stacks are good, too. There's some good stuff in here. Everything you've seen so far, 20 cents. Greg Maddox, uh, second or third year card from Upper Deck. I got Greg Maddox as the greatest pitcher ever in terms of location and what he can do. Um, sorry about the chat, guys. I can't see any anything with the chat. Uh, usually the chat's going pretty good. It's letting me, like, I can post hello in the chat, but it's not, I can't see if you guys are writing anything. I apologize. I got Greg Maddox as the best pitcher ever. I had another one of those ovations. Dude was just sick. He could paint those corners. By the end of the game, he'd be, he'd be getting calls six, eight inches off the plate. 90 Fleer, 89 Tops, just some random ones that I did not have in my collection. More upper deck. Love me some upper deck. A lot of upper deck in this video heroes of baseball tons of greg maddox fatten up the old maddox collection now you can talk about flamethrowers and guys that throw hard and longevity with nolan ryan and different things you could talk about greatest pitcher of all time but just throwing the baseball another one of those ovation with the raised um stitches really sweet there's a lot of way to judge pitchers, but just in terms of throwing the ball, location, uh, you know, fooling the hitter, I forget what the number is. It's like less than 20 times that he ever went 0-3, um, oh no balls, three strikes on hitters, like in his entire career, less than 20 times or some crazy number. Uh, these are legends of sports memorabilia. No idea. Never seen them before. Gold borders, kind of pretty. We grabbed a handful of them. We'll throw them in the old personal collection. Fleer salutes a champion, Mike Schmidt. I've never seen this card before from Fleer. 1989. Right. So that's a pretty sweet card. Obviously, Mike Schmidt. I mean, he's the best third baseman of all time. But yeah, you can't even tell me what your thoughts are because I can't. My chat's not working. I don't know what's up with that. I'm so sorry. Kmart. Love the old Kmart cards. Tried and true sluggers, Mike Schmidt and Gary Carter in the old baby blue Philly uniforms. The RBI leader for 1985, probably celebrating it with the 1986 Don Russ, surpasses DiMaggio. What, he, what DiMaggio record? Oh, his home run, uh, career extra base hits, moving him ahead of the Yankee Clipper, who had 881. How about that? Love the gold border 
Don Russ. Ring of Honor 1980 World Series champion Mike Schmidt. That's a good-looking card from Tops. Throwback card 2008. The 87 Don Russ one more time. Love the blue border highlight cards. Celebrating his 500th home run. Ralston Purina Company. Saw one of those earlier. Who is this? The Circle K. 1985 Circle K cards. Circle K was, uh, are there still Circle Ks around? Little convenience stores. I got two of those. Didn't we just see a Kmart? Oh, that was a Purina. Did we? I think we, yeah, well, we got some doubles. Well, one of those go into the auction box. Still playing in that auction, trying to sort through just ridiculous amounts of cards. Get that going. We'll keep you updated on Twitter. Press, Preston underscore sports. Tops Diamond uh, something or other. Mike Schmidt. That's a really pretty card. I like that. Who's that from? From Tops 2001. And uh, more upper deck. We've got a few of these in the collection. Pretty cards. Ryan Sandberg, Heroes of Baseball. Everybody loves Rhino. Another one of the Rob Broder cards. Were there, were there 50 of them? Rob Broder. And the M&M's card from 1987. There you go. How about some Dave Winfield? Don Russ. 3,000 hits. There's a 1981, right? 81. Absolutely. 1981 Winfield. Not in great shape at all. But I like it. Definitely worth 20 cents to me. This card's in great shape. Outstanding shape. Now the centering's off, which is common for that that era 1981 as well that'd be the Fleer really good shape 1985 Don Russ the black border another Fleer baseball all-stars we got a couple of them and those are from what 1989 Dave Winfield Andre Dawson Bunt 16 and a couple highlight cards. Player of the month, August. And he set the Cubs' first year homer mark. 1987. Thought I'd have been eight years old. Less complicated times. <coughs> Let's grab another, pardon me. Let's grab another stack. Once again, Hooterville Sports Cards. Down in uh, Fairfield, Ohio, here in southern Ohio, just outside of Cincinnati. Make sure you check him out. I'm telling you, the stuff he's got in there is amazing. You walk in the door, there's boxes of old vintage stuff at good prices. When we get to the end, you'll see a few cards where he had everything in his cabinets, like 50% off. Got some ridiculously good rookies for a really cheap price. The Nolan Ryan 87 mini card. I don't know why the minis aren't. Uh, there's certain years where they put out minis. That's 86. Um, 1986. where They weren't really popular. Like you look at the 1975 minis and they're not as um, expensive as the regular ones despite being in uh, a shorter print. So I don't know. I like the minis. Some people don't. Assets, what's that classic, 1994, so some, some more baseball heroes. That's a cool picture, too. Get some Nolan Ryan for you. Don Russ triple play. 1990 and still counting A's in the league forever. 92 upper deck, some old Coca-Cola cards. There's a handful of these. 
these would be from what 1992 there would have been 26 in the collection i have more in my collection i don't think i have the whole set um when i got six here i probably got you know four or five maybe got 10 or 12 of them maybe i'll work on that maybe i'll try putting that set together more nolan ryan from upper deck the pure arena card first annual collector's edition 5,000 strikeouts, 5,000 strikeouts, 89 tops, uh oh, we got another, yep, one of those will end up in the auction, put a Nolan Ryan lot together, there's already some Nolan Ryan in there, Nolan Ryan Leaf, ah, the K-Man, remember the Master Blaster we saw earlier, that's the sub, same subset, 91 score. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. I'm sorry I'm having trouble with the chat. If you're typing, I can't see it. Um, I, I'd, I'd hate to think guys are coming in and I'm ignoring them. I try to give everybody shout outs as we go along. So sorry about the trouble on this video. Never had this trouble before, so I'll have to look into it and see what caused it. Triple play. 300th win, June 31st, 1990. That's a good picture, too. I like that car. 90 upper deck a lot of these cards i hadn't seen before and how about some cal ripkin once again another mini i think that's 87 what i said no 86 sorry 86 mini of cal ripkin the fathead all-star from score is that 90 maybe 92 maybe oh another double Let's put him, put him over here so we can sort that out later. We just throw some Cal Ripken in the middle of more Nolan Ryan, or they get it mixed up a little bit. Who do we got? Fernandez, Alan Trammell, 1987, super short stops. Tony Fernandez, Alan Trammell, and Cal Ripken Jr., more Ripken. That one's from Pinnacle. I like the old Pinnacle cards. The Big Show one more time with Overman and Patrick on it. Those are neat cards. Fleer League Leaders. And some kind of playing card. It says Baseball Aces. The U.S. Playing Card Company from 92. They had a bunch of these. I didn't buy all of them. There's only a few players I was interested in. Cal Ripken, 87. Man of the Year, 1992. I love this old Don Russ. Uh, or these are from Leaf. The, the Leafs with the blue and gold border. Really pretty cards. Players of the Decade. 10th Anniversary of Fleer. Fleer, 92. A drawing or painting. Cal and Billy together on the same card. 92 upper deck. Bloodlines. It says on the bottom there. Milestones 2131. 2131 consecutive games. Jeez. Now, to be fair, there were some games at the end of his career where they probably would have benefited with, uh, you know, a shortstop with more range. <laughs> among a couple other things but uh man just an impressive record nonetheless i mean that's that's incredible to stay that healthy to have that kind of career and obviously that kind of talent um man that's impressive that card was a victory card it's more collector's choice from upper deck the 90 fleer the upper deck mvp I don't know what year that is. It'll be the year 2000 and your last Cal Ripken card. Studio 91. Fattened up the Cal Ripken Nolan Ryan collection a little bit. Set these aside. We've got two more stacks to work through. We're getting near the end. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Sorry about the chat trouble today. Preston underscore sports will post there over on Twitter before we go live. Keep you updated about all the good stuff going on. Check back later tonight when I get off work. 
Uh, we'll take a look at maybe this guy tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we'll save it for Sunday. I have no idea what's in there. Never heard of it before. And then uh, my guys over at RSR had an auction on Sunday, as they normally do. Definitely check them out. We'll do some mail time later tonight for sure. I'm excited about that. I spent $12 on that little package. Got some incredible cards. But Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs, is that where we're at here? Yeah, Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs, two of my main PC guys. Um, I have an incredible respect for guys because I can hit with that kind of average. Um, just an incredible, incredible baseball player. So they can put the ball anywhere they want it. That's uh, Everybody loves the 87 design. Memorable moments from Kmart. Love the little one-off random cards. Don Russ, 93. The Tony Gwynn Wade Boggs collection got a whole lot thicker this week. 93 post. Looking at his bat. What happened? What happened? Did he did he foul off a bun or something? Guy, they don't bun enough anymore. I need to see a little small ball every now and again. You just can't sit around and wait for home runs. It gets a little boring. Especially when the ball's juice the way it is. Heroes of baseball. I like those cards from Lee. Look at this super shiny SPX from Upper Deck. Just a beautiful card. Really like that one. Really love the ovations as well. I don't think. Oh, that's not an ovation. That's a threads. Who is that? Don Russ Threads. I saw the stitching. Ovation puts the stitching on there back then. Some more upper deck. Pros and prospects. Mystique. I ended up with a couple of those. My buddy Luke uh, Wade Boggs and Tony Gwynn are a couple of his favorites. I remember meeting Luke as a young man, and one of the things we bonded over was our love for Wade Boggs. And in Cincinnati, there wasn't a whole lot of love for Wade Boggs and Tony Gwynn. Those guys were, man, they're so good, so good. Put the baseball anywhere they wanted. They told uh, Wade Boggs, clear ultra, clear all-stars. They told Wade Boggs they were giving him crap about not being able to hit a home run, so I forget what year it was. So the next year he went out and hit 30 home runs or whatever it was, but his average dropped like 10, 20 points, which you would expect because you're not supposed to be swinging for home runs. Just to prove to everybody he could hit home runs if he wanted to. Um, and then he went back to uh, focusing more, making contact, driving in runs, moving runners around the base. You know, the things that help you win ball games. You know who's really good at hitting home runs? Adam Dunn. I love that those cards, that subset from up, Upper Deck. But you know what? There's not a lot of use for it when every home run you hit's like you're down by five in the eighth inning and you hit a solo shot. Absolute king of the worthless home run, Adam Dunn. Tell me Tony Gwynn doesn't look like Bubba from Forrest Gump in that picture. <laughs> I guarantee he's got a little chaw in his, in his lip. 90 Fleer. Another ovation. That is an ovation, is it? It's upper deck. It's uh, textured along the seams there. Really like those. 84 batting title. That's a sweet looking card. I like it. If you're just joining us, having trouble with the chat, I really do apologize. Uh, um, I can type stuff in it, but uh, I haven't seen anything pop up. And I know normally my um, subscribers are very generous with their time and, and like to put in the chat stuff. Um, so I'm assuming you guys are trying to chat and you just can't or I can't see it. So I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Try to figure out what happened. Make sure it don't happen again. Barry Larkin here in Cincinnati. That's a second or third year card from Fleer. Really pretty card. Didn't have that card. It's pretty good shape. Again, all these cards still uh, that you've seen are, have all been 20 cents. Uh, I used to make Barry Larkin dinner maybe once or twice a month when I was a teenager working at Skyline Chili. He would uh, drive down and pick up uh, some Skyline for the family, make him some cheese conies. And uh, I was always excited when I see him come through. You know, if I was working the drive through or not, I'd make sure to run over there and say hi. And Hall of Fame player, 
an incredible player. It's a shame he didn't stay a little more healthy. Um, health concerns drug his numbers down a little bit. Um, I think if he did stay a little more healthy, you'd be talking more about him as, uh, um, you know, uh, above guys like maybe Derek Jeter and, and Ozzie Smith. If, if he would have been able to stay a little healthy, his numbers would have been so much better because he was an incredible ball player. Found some really sweet Ricky Henderson cards. We're shaking hands with, who's that, Rod Carew? Looks like Rod Carew. No, Lou Brock, I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, that makes perfect sense because Lou Brock's still in a ton of bases. 939. Man, dude just stole so many bases, it's crazy. There's some Ricky Henderson numbers, some records that are just really way out there. Love that motion card. The 89 Fleer, the 80, what I, we just looked at one and I already forgot the 88. So 88, 89, like the old Fleer designs. Certainly collect uh, Ricky Henderson, any I can get my hand on. 92, celebrating him stealing some bases in 91, becoming the all time stolen base leader. Ricky Henderson in a Padres uniform. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird. 2001. You got Pinnacle Summit. It's a really sweet looking card. 89 Fleer. Some more Fleer for you. It's also 89. The Superstars Collection. Heroes of Baseball, and how about some Ken Griffey Jr.? That's just a checklist, but I will buy any Ken Griffey Jr. card I see that I don't have. Certainly ones that cost 20 cents. Less than a quarter. Ken Griffey Jr. 101, collection from Upper Deck. How about the Diamond Skills, most exciting player, 92 Upper Deck. Laying down a bunt. Uh, score 94, and that's what's the 90, 90 or 91, 90 to leaf. We got, who is that? That's Ken Griffey Jr., Kevin Mitchell, and Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner blowing a bubble. Another card with multiple players on it. Ken Sr., Craig, and Ken Jr. Give you a look at that if you'd like to read through. 1990 Fleer. Is that Is that this Fleer rookie? The red smudge there. I don't know if that's I don't know what that's about. We'll see some more Ken Griffey Jr. later. Some uh, sweet rookie cards was able to find. You got Rod Carew. We're working into some. This is the rest of this little stack here will be Wade Boggs. My boy Wade Boggs. Love me some Wade Boggs. As Rod, who is that? I keep saying Rod Carew. I don't want Rod Crew all the time. <laughs> if it's not Rod, I don't know who that is sliding in. Spirit of the game. So on the front of the card, you got Wade Boggs manning third base. Guy coming in. And then safer out on the back. So um, it doesn't say a whole lot. I can't read that. Was it 92 Leaf? Maybe it says. And then it's got... Uh, SG7. So, yeah, weird little card. Don't know where it came from, what set it would have been in. 87 Don Russ. Love the 87 borders. That one's uh, chewed up a little bit in the corner there. But what do you expect for, uh, you know, 30-year-old card, 20 cents? More Pure Arena. I didn't have that one. I do have some, uh, quite a few, like, post and off-brand Wade Boggs, but I didn't have that one. The upper deck, my Wade Boggs stack is like, it's getting, it's getting kind of out of hand, really. <laughs> First five-hit game of career, the 86 highlights, player of the month in May. 
the heroes of baseball. Five straight 200 hit seasons. How about that? 1987 Don Ruff. Player of the month one more time. Man, he was so good. So good at baseball. Go see if you can find the old bunting competition. You want to see somebody that could bunt the baseball as good as anybody ever. Those are worth checking out, too. Some Fleer cards, all-star heroes. Upper deck, and it's got the Padres logo on it there, what I guess maybe the all-star game was handed, held in San Diego that year, if I had to guess. The Summit card, we saw one of those earlier. Putting on the shades in New York. That's a A95 from Tops. Fleer Ultra. I think I already got one of those, but we picked it up anyway. It's in really good shape. And then uh, two of the Rob Broder card. Maybe I should try to put together all 50 of the Rob Broder cards because we have, we have quite a few of them now. Man, sorry about that chandelier. All right, one more stack to go. This last stack you're going to be impressed with. Now, everything you've seen so far has been 20 cent cards. There are going to be some cards, now a lot of them are 20 cents as well, but they're built the, the numbered cards and uh, obviously some of the bigger rookies. We'll talk about them as we go, but um, some of these will be like one, two dollar cards. How about Joe Morgan and Carlton Fisk? On the same card from Leather and Lumber. It's going to be a lot of Joe Morgan and Johnny Bench to start us off in this pile. Two of my favorite PC guys. Bench, best catcher of all time. You can certainly make the argument that Morgan is the best second baseman of all time. Shout out to Eddie Collins. SP Legendary. That's a beautiful card. More Morgan, all-time classics. And speaking of Eddie Collins, how about Eddie Collins and Joe Morgan on the same card? Wow! That's a sweet card. Eddie Collins, Joe Morgan. Oh, did I, did I pick up doubles of this one? I think I did. Yeah, one of those will end up in the... Actually, I'll probably give one of those to my buddy Luke. He's a Joe Morgan guy here in Cincinnati. I met Joe Morgan. He's a wonderfully, wonderfully nice man. Very generous with his time. He'll sit and talk to you. And he even gave me an autographed uh, little uh, card from the uh, Hall of Fame. Just uh, an unbelievably nice man. It was a pleasure to meet him. Tops Tribute. That's a beautiful card. Absolutely love that card. I think that, that was out of the $1 or $2 bin. Uh, some of these are going to be. Some of the older ones were for sure. Joe Morgan is at 1980. Yeah, 1980 tops. 81. No, 78. How about a 78 all-star card? And that Fleer is going to be 1981. And Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, Greg Luzinski. Your RBI leaders from 1975. So this will be a, should be a 76 card. Johnny Bench again, 1978. The 83 design, 83 and 84. 83 had the circle, 84 had the square. Two of my favorite years. I like those designs. The 81 Don Russ. I had this card as a kid. I don't know if I still have it in the pile over there. I don't think I do because it was chewed up. It got beat to hell and back. The Mini from 1975 that has him and Boog Powell on it. Bench and Powell, 1975 Mini. We talked about these Minis earlier. Uh, not a lot of, I don't know, they don't, despite being a shorter number of them, they don't hold their value as well as the regular cards. Kind of weird. Johnny Bench, who's that, 90 or uh, 80, yeah, 84? In really good shape. 1984 All-Star card. Celebrating the 83 All-Star appearance. And then a couple minis. Now we'll start working into some pretty sweet stuff here. Is this? This was a short print 
from Gypsy Queen, 2013. Another Gypsy Queen mini from 2014. I'm pretty, those two came out of the 20 cent bucket, I think. They might have been a dollar. I can't remember. Kmart, the 1983, what was it? The 83? Yeah, the 1983 Kmart set. Baseball Wit. What's that thing say? Too small for me to, Little League Baseball. Baseball Wit. It's got some sort of game rules that you can play with your buddies. That is a sticker. No idea from where. Let's find out. No, it doesn't really tell me. Oh, wait. There's something. 1981 Fleer sticker. Sweet. Love that. Sub subset from Upper Deck 1968 Rookie of the Year collection or the Rookie of the Year collection celebrating his 1968 Rookie of the Year. Uh, this is our last stack here. There's going to be some good stuff there. So I'll take a moment to thank you for uh, stopping by and hanging out. It's always a ton of fun. I certainly do appreciate it. Wanted to uh, just show you guys some pretty good cards and give a shout out to my. Uh, guys over at Hooterville in Fairfield, just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. You guys are awesome for hanging out. I'm sorry about the chat. Don't know what happened there. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I'll try to figure out what the malfunction is and get it fixed uh, before we get back on and do some videos tonight. How about uh, Johnny Vince colliding at the plate? And they call him the runner on the back, so I don't even know who that is. Um, that he's colliding with, but that is a sweet card from Gypsy Queen, not numbered or anything. 2013 set Johnny Bench throwback from Upper Deck, another Upper Deck, the Bunt 16 cards, 2016 tops. Uh, that's a beautiful card. That was a one or two dollar card, 2005 legendary cuts. Johnny Lee Bench. Beautiful card. Hall of Fame Heroes. Blue bordered. I think that's a short print from Gypsy Queen that year. Was it the 2012? The Endless Summer. Another beautiful card from Upper Deck. like that one a lot. These are uh, that's a really thick card. Johnny Bench. The Elite from Tops. The Museum Collection. That's from 2014. Beautiful card. That's like a $2 card. Another... Really sweet card. The Greats from Tops 2013 and Tops Tribute. Now, this last stack of cards, you're going to see some number cards. You're going to see some big time rookies. Um, none of these will be 20 cents. So uh, these numbered cards are going to be, they were out of the one, two, and three dollar bin. So we'll start with those. That's a little mini from Gypsy Queen, numbered 14 of 99. And there we go. Another Gypsy Queen with the light blue border. That one's numbered 163 of 250. At Joe Morgan's numbered 131 of 1500. A triple threads card from 2011. More Joe Morgan. I don't, oh, yeah, this one is numbered to a thousand. 
405 of 1000. Don Russ Studio 2002. That's a pretty card. The sparkly star there. I don't think this one. A couple of them were not numbered. Nope, this one is. 2326 of 2950. 2950 is a very random number. Legendary All Stars, numbered to 499. I guess all those were numbered. Love that card. Joe Morgan, Legendary All Stars from Upper Deck. So all those were from the one, two, three dollar bin. Not bad pickups. Fatten up the, the personal collection of those guys. And now let me show you these. Now these came out of a case that had 50% off marked on it. And none of these cards were more than like, I think the most expensive one might have been like 12 bucks or something. So I don't think I paid more than six bucks for any of these cards. My memory ain't what she used to be, but I think that's right. How about a King Griffey Jr. rookie from Classic 1989? I did not have this rookie in my collection. I don't think I had any of these. I'm, if I did, they're in bad shape. So I thought they were good deals. The 1989 Don Russ. Or I'm sorry, Bowman, the oversized Bowman cards. And these they're, these are hard to find in good shape because they were so tall. And they didn't fit in with all the other cards, and you would often find them where um, the edges on the top were, were damaged pretty good. So um, this guy's in really good condition. All these will be in pretty good condition. The 90 score, I'm sorry, the 89 score. King Griffey Jr. Rookie, the 1990 Major League debut, celebrating his 83 day, or yes, 83 debut on April 3rd. I didn't even know this card existed until I saw it in the pile there, and I was like, "Oh man, you gotta have that card." From the register, 1990, right? How about a 1989 rookie? Again, excellent condition. Pushed off to the right a little bit in terms of centering, but the corners are good. Most of these cost between four and six bucks, I think. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm a little lucky here in Cincinnati, I guess, because, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. being one of our main guys, I think. I think you might pay a little more outside of Cincinnati for some of these cards. The Don Russ 89 Rookies. If you're just joining us, I saw somebody pop in. We're having trouble with the chat. Sorry, I can't see it. I don't want anybody to think I'm ignoring anyone. Nope. Now, this I didn't put in a rookie top loader. It's from 1990. And since there's already, you know, there's 89 ones. I don't know. I don't know if it's technically a rookie or not. And then my last two cards, two of my favorite players. We got the 83 Don Rust rookie of Tony Gwynn. And you can see, ooh, wrong way. The uh, corners on this card are in really good shape. And the 83 Don Rust Wade Boggs, two of my favorite players. Absolutely beautiful cards in really good shape. I need it. Did those I did not have those rookies in my collection. Well, there you go. Oh, I must have knocked the camera out a little bit there. All right, some good cards from Hooterville Sports Cards in Fairfield, Ohio. Make sure you check those guys out if you ever get the opportunity down here in Southern Ohio, outside of Cincinnati. Always a ton of fun for me to do these uh, videos. I do appreciate you hanging out. Um, we'll open some mail time later. Go back and check our holiday box videos. They've been very popular. You want to see a sick, super short print of Acuna. I got one on there for you. Um, they're hard to find pictures of online, actually. Uh, couldn't find it uh, very easily. So, um, And then go back and watch that Triple Threads video, too, because there was some sick stuff uh, come out of that box. 
As always, I appreciate it. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. Follow us over there for updates. You guys are awesome. I'm Preston. I'll see you later. Be good. Have fun. Peace.